Hello, I'm about to read Germs Make Me Sick, but I want to alert parents that you may want to screen this book before you share it with your children, just in case there are some parts that might confuse them or that they might ask about later on uh, that could cause more fear without understanding. So this might be a good one to listen to with your child, pause, and answer some questions throughout if you think that might be an important thing for your child. Hello. Today I'm here to read Germs Make Me Sick. I thought this was very appropriate for right now and for those kiddos who might be asking a lot of questions about the virus right now. So I hope you enjoy. Germs Make Me Sick by Melvin Berger, illustrated by Marilyn Hefner. Hurry or you will be late for school. Rise and shine. He's as sick as a dog. You wake up one morning, but you don't feel like getting out of bed. Your arms and legs ache. Your head hurts. You have a fever. And your throat is sore. I'm sick, you say. I must have caught a germ. Everyone knows that germs can make you sick, but not everyone knows how. thousand germs. Wow, cool. Germs are tiny living things. They are far too small to see with your eyes alone. In fact, a line of 1,000 germs could fit across the top of a pencil. There are many different kinds of germs, but the two that usually make you sick are bacteria and viruses. Under a microscope, some bacteria look like little round balls. Other are as straight as rods. Still, others are twisted in spiral shapes. Viruses are far tinier than bacteria. Some look like balls with spikes sticking out on all sides. Others look like loaves of bread or like tadpoles. There are even some that look like metal screws with spider legs. Germs such as bacteria and viruses are found everywhere. They are in the air you breathe, in the food you eat, in the water you drink, and on everything you touch. They are even on your skin and in your body. You should wash your hands before you eat that. Although germs are all around, they do not always make you sick. Many germs are not harmful. Also, your body keeps out harmful germs most of the time. Your skin blocks the germs. As long as there are no cuts or scratches on your skin, germs can't get in. You won't get in. Your nose helps too. It is lined with tiny hairs. The hairs catch many of the germs you breathe in. They push them back out. The inside of your mouth and throat is always wet. Germs often get stuck there. They don't go any farther. Here the hairs and the nose. Looks okay. Be very careful. Yet some germs do slip in every once in a while. Your friend has a cold. She sneezes. Germs fly out. You breathe the air. Some of her germs may get into your lungs. You take a sip of your cousin's soda. Her germs are on the straw. A few of the germs may get stuck. Oops, may get into your stomach. You're riding a bike. You fall and scrape your knee. Germs from the ground may get under your skin. But even when harmful bacteria and viruses get into your body, you don't always get sick. That is because your body has ways to fight germs. That will have to be cleaned thoroughly, says the dog. The white cells in your blood go after any germs that sneak in. Usually, these cells kill the germs before they can do any harm. There's a white blood cell and a red blood cell. White blood cell eats harmful germs. 
Antibodies look something like this. Germs, antibodies. Your blood also has special proteins that attack germs. They are called antibodies. The white blood cells and antibodies don't always get rid of the germs though. Some germs stay in the body and make you sick. Kitty says this is fascinating. What if the germs in your body are bacteria? They quickly start to multiply. Each one becomes two new bacteria. Then they become four, and so on. In a few hours, there may be millions of bacteria in your body. Here's some bacteria. In one hour, there's two. In two hours, there's four. In three hours, four hours, and five hours, there are many more. Yes, Mrs. Smith, I'm afraid Janie isn't feeling very well. Are you going home? The bacteria give off waste products. Some of these wastes are poisons. The poisons can damage or kill the cells that make up your body. When enough cells are harmed, you feel sick. You may have pains and aches run a fever, or break out in a rash. You may cough or sneeze or throw up. These signs tell you that cells are being damaged or killed in your body. Poor kid, he looks like a leopard. Some bacteria give off poisons that stay close to the bacteria. Bacteria in your mouth are like that. The poison attacks only your teeth and causes cavities. It does not go to other places in your body. Too many candy bars, Nancy. Ear aches and boils on the skin can also be caused by bacteria whose poison stay in one place. Other bacteria give off poisons that move around the body. One kind of bacteria lives in the lungs but it gives us poisons that are carried around in the blood. These bacteria may give you a headache or a sore stomach. The heart pumps the blood through the lungs and to all the parts of the body. Here are your lungs, heart, veins. The big ones are arteries. How did he get so smart? That boy looks sick. You don't look too well, Jeff. Still, other bacteria have poisons in their outer coats. When they touch different cells, their poisons hurt or destroy them. As the cells die, you feel sick. What if viruses get into your body? Viruses are different from bacteria. They don't give off poisons. Each virus forces its way into a body cell. It disappears inside. For a while, nothing seems to be happening. Then suddenly, the viruses break out of the cell. Hundreds of new viruses tumble out. Each virus finds another cell and digs its way in. Then these cells pop open and more viruses pour out. Soon there are millions of viruses in your body. Virus cell. Virus comes in because the virus invades the cell. New viruses form and then the viruses break out of the cell. No wonder we feel sick. Jenny will be out to play in a few days. The viruses spread out. As they do, you feel worse and worse. Viruses bring you colds and the flu, measles, mumps, and chickenpox and lots of other illnesses. Though bacteria and viruses can make you sick, you usually begin to feel better after a day or two. Your body has beaten back the germs. He's just not himself, doctor. We'll soon have him feeling fine again. At times, though, you feel very sick or you stay sick for days. Then you should see a doctor. 
Doctors try to find which germs are making you sick. What hurts? They ask. Let's take a look. The doctor needs this as soon as possible. Perhaps they swab your throat with cotton. Then they send the cotton with the germs on to a lab. Or they may take a few drops of blood from your fingertip or arm. That also goes to a lab to be tested. Your doctor gets a report from the lab. It tells whether the germs are bacteria or viruses. If bacteria are making you sick, the doctor usually prescribes some drug. The drug will either kill the bacteria or stop them from growing. Yes, doctor, we'll have it ready to be picked up. It's okay, Sarah. This will only take a minute. Doctors do not have drugs to cure, do not yet have drugs to cure diseases caused by viruses, but they can give you shots to, present, to prevent some of these diseases. Just swallow it down, it's so big. If you do get sick with a virus, the doctor may give you some medicine anyway. It won't cure you, but it might help you feel better or protect you against bacteria that might make you even sicker. When germs make you sick, your doctor might tell you to stay in bed. Bed rest makes it easier for your body to fight the germs. So do eating and drinking healthy foods and drinks. The kids want to know when you're coming out. Once you are well, you want to stay that way. There are lots of ways to keep healthy. Come along, girls. Rules for good health. Stay away from anyone with a cold or the flu. Wash your hands with soap and warm water to get rid of germs. Eat good, healthful food. Brush your teeth after meals. Get plenty of rest. Do some exercise every day. Visit your doctor and dentist regularly for checkups. Be sure to get the shots you need. Makes sense to me. Germs do make you sick sometimes, but you can help yourself be as fit as a fiddle all the rest of the time.